guys, it's Dina Duran, Licensed Massage Therapist here with your tip for today. So today I'm gonna to be showing you how to roll out your hamstring and quad using a ball. Uh, I recommend this to clients all the time because it gets a little bit deeper than the foam roller. So if you're having a trigger point, this is a great way to work it out at home. You can get on the floor with a ball, tennis ball, lacrosse ball, or the orb ball, whichever you have. Um, I'm gonna show you where those trigger points are. They can refer into the knee so you could have some knee pain related to it, um, or it can go up into your glutes and your lower back. So this is a great way to start off if you're having some lower back pain too, um, to just try to work that muscle out. So the first thing you wanna do is uh, find a space on the floor. Uh, you can have yoga mat, carpet. Um, the harder the surface, the more pressure it's gonna put into that muscle. So you do need to take in consideration what your uh, flooring is. All right, so now that we've found our spot on the floor, we're gonna take that ball, we're gonna go right under into the hamstring. It's gonna be maybe like four or three inches from the knee, and it's gonna be kind of on the side. So right in there. Put my body, leg against it. Um, I can start off like the foam roller, just kind of moving back and forth. And go from side to side. I like to get it in place and then move the foot back and forth like this. You will feel when you find those tight trigger point areas. So I'm gonna go a little bit the full, full length of the muscle and I can feel the tenderness as I get closer to the knee where that trigger point is. So then I'm gonna go back and forth with it in that area. Again, just having fun exploring it, seeing you know what happens when I move my leg with it pinned rolling it side to side, back and forth. Now we can kind of come onto our side with it. This is intense. So if you have tender um, IT bands, you might not want to do this, but wow. Okay, so I found a trigger point in my hamstring. It's referring into my knee. Nice deep breath. If it's too intense, you can put your body weight back onto the ground. I did lift myself up a little bit. Wow. So now I'm just going to extend the leg, bring it back and forth. Just like stretching it. It feels really good. Um, if you want to, bring it down to the calf. Um, again, foot left to right, go back and forth. This actually, this is probably the best feeling right there. Really nice. Okay. All those tight muscles just kind of rolling over, pretty ropey. All right, so now we go into the uh, quad muscle. So over here on the side, again, kind of on the side of the muscle, just like the hamstring was, so there's a trigger point for your knee. So bring that ball here, bring it down onto the floor, and just like the foam roller, I'm gonna roll back and forth with it side to side, um, I can move my foot to keep the ball still. Again, we're looking for that referral spot, that trigger point. And find it there, sink into it, let my body go in, and just deep breaths. muscles just kind of rolling over and then I'll just hang out there and if you upper body gets tired you can come down on the forearms just rolling it up and down I like to even come into the adductors a little bit pressing in and just a slight Those are all the muscles of our upper leg. Uh, next time, I will be showing you to how to roll out your glutes and your piriformis. So make sure to check back in with me. And if you have any questions, please just leave them in my comment section.